All right. Hey guys, it's me, Little Squawker, and yesterday I went shopping, so you know what this means. This is a clothing haul, and I practically ran upstairs for this. Anyway, so I went to Forever 21. I went to the Goodwill a few days ago. I went to H&M, and I also went to Gap, because I like expensive. But they're actually pretty cheap, and they were actually pretty good prices for all the stuff I got, so... Let's just get books out of the way real quick. So, I finally found a hardback cover version of Matt by Ali Kata. And I can finally give away this because it's classic. That means it's tinier. And, like, if you just look at the size from the book, it's a pretty big size difference. So, I can finally unhaul it. So, I'm happy. So, there's... Oh, shoot. I just dropped the hair tie. So there's that. Uh, the second book I got is Our Town by Thorin Wilder. And this is actually a playwright. And it's a Pulitzer Prize winner. And it's a play in 3X. And I, ha I don't own any other play that's not Shakespeare. So owning this is actually, it's actually pretty good. So yeah. The next book I got is Identical by Ellen Hopkins. And you may... If you haven't heard of Ellen Hopkins, Ellen Hopkins actually writes big books like this, but it's not, like, word for word. It's more like poetry, and I haven't seen any other books like that, and I also own Crank, so this and Crank might be, like, a pretty quick run, like, read-through because of it, so. Shiny, 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 shiny. Anyway, and the last book I got is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen. And Seth Graham Smith, and this is basically Pride and Prejudice with a zombie twist. All right, let's get to the clothes. And so the clothes, I got three stuff from Goodwill like a, a week ago, I think. So I thought it would be awesome to just put that in there. So the first pants, I first article of clothing I got are pants, and they are from Rock and Republic. I folded them up because they have been in my laundry basket, and I'm gonna keep them folded. And they have like little paint stains on them, so it kind of looks like I've been working hard. So I really l l like them, and they're from Rock and Republic, not Banana and Republic. So yeah. So there's that. Set it on my chair. The next article of clothing I got are shorts, and they have little anchors and sailor wheels on them. And these are originally from Old Navy, but I got them from Goodwill, from Goodwill like for four dollars. So there's that. And the last thing I got was a dress, and basically all the stuff from Goodwill's navy blue. And it is from Liz and Company, and it has like little arrows on them-ish. It has lines, so we're just gonna go with that. So yeah. The next, the store I'm gonna show you next is from Gap, and I got three stuff from there. So the first thing I got are these sweatpants that were originally 42 bucks, but I got them for 20 and they have like little diamonds on them and they're not they're not tights but they're also kind of sweats because they are really comfy but they're like really tight on my thighs and my um calves but they're not tight like everywhere else so I'm just gonna call them sweats for now and they are really comfy really comfy so there's that i'm just gonna set you down there the next article of clothing i got was a sweater that i got for seven dollars and it's really big it's navy blue do you see the pattern here it's navy blue and it has stripes and it's knitted and it's soft and this would probably be the first sweater i would wear in the fall so yeah i'm very excited for fall I could break out my sweaters. And the last thing I got, my aunt actually put this in the cart and explained to me why I have to get this. And it is just like a basic white button down that is like really cool. And it does, I really like it because not only was it $7 like how it was before, but it doesn't button up all the way. And I usually really like to wear button downs where either they're not buttoned up all the way or like I just don't wear them at all. But in this case, it's not. And I really like it. My my aunt was like, okay, so you have to wear this shirt with black pants and black flats. And I was like, okay, I could look like uh, Candor for a few minutes. 
The next articles of clothing I'm going to show you are from Forever 21. Now, Forever 21 is really weird because I am, I don't fit into like their other section. So I have to shop in the Forever 21 Plus section. And my size is technically 0X, which is kind of like XL, but it's, it's really complicated. So yeah. The first shirt I got is this Emoji Day of the Week shirt, and I just think it's really cute. It's like Monday is a poop emoji, Tuesday is a taco emoji, Wednesday is a camel emoji, Thursday is camera, Friday is a dancing twins, Saturday is a dancing senorita, and Sunday is the heavenly one because, you know, church. And I had to get this one in a size up because they didn't have one in a 0x. So I had to get this one in a 1X, and it actually fit me really well, so I'm like, ooh. So, there is that. The next shirt I got from Forever 21, I have to fold it up again. I got from Forever 21 is this shirt, and it says, you wish on it, and it's a nice pastel yellow, and it's in, like, really nice fonts, and it's not sewn in, it's, it's like, it's there, it's printed on there, and yeah, I really like this shirt. A lot and the sleeves are cuffed already so god bless that for happening so yeah the next shirt I got and the next and last shirt I got from forever 21 is this and my mother has the same one and it says happiness is not expensive and me and my mother actually have quite a few matching shirts from forever 21 and it's really cute and so it's black and it has big writing and I love it. My mother loves it. She has the same shirt, and she also has like a few other shirts that are from Forever 21, and that are the same thing. The last two articles of clothing I have are from H&M, and I actually have a story behind this shirt, and this shirt has chihuahuas on it, and my mother has this shirt as well, but she got it before me. She got this when like it first came out, and I was really mad they didn't have it in my size, but once I saw that they had it in my size, I just took it. And I was like, this is mine. So there's that. And the last article of clothing I have, and it's actually pretty a pretty good deal, is this shirt. At, is it a button down? No, it's, it's not really a button down, but it has it has that and it has palm trees on it. And this was only ten dollars. So yeah. It's it's great. And they had their last day sale, like basically everything was like 80% off, and I'm like so, I love me a good sale! So yeah, that is all, all, blah, blah, blah. That is all the articles of clothing I have received from yesterday. Um, school is coming up for me, and it might be already starting soon for you guys. So next week, I'm going to base my videos off of all the things you should know. I'm going to do a back to school. I'm going to do like a sc school subject tag thing, see if that exists. If not, I'll be the creator of it. Um, so at that, I have books that are like that take place in school that could probably help you if you're in school dilemma. And I, j I have a lot of stuff planned. I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys, so don't worry. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and comment down below what is your favorite store to shop when it comes to back to school style. And my favorite stores are Forever 21 and H&M. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Be sure to watch my other videos, by the way. So yeah, see you guys next time.